Okay, so most of us either know someone that's encountered this issue or we have encountered this issue ourselves. iPhone storage is full, which means you can no longer download applications or take pictures or videos or enjoy your device as you're supposed to, right? So you have to delete things from your iPhone in order to continue using it, or you can buy more iCloud storage and upload the information over to iCloud in order to create more space on your physical device. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to transfer everything from your iPhone to a physical SSD where you can and use it at a later time so you can back up everything that's on your device and then delete the things that are on your iPhone but you'll have them saved over to a physical storage so that you can use it at a later time let me show you how easy it is to do this with just a few simple clicks now as always if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates of course and don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. So in order to do this, it's fairly simple. I'll have the app in the description down below. The app that I'm going to be using is called AnyTrans, a long time partner of the channel. Great software. You can download it for free, give it a try. And let's go ahead and plug in our iPhones here to the AnyTrans software. And once the iPhone is recognized, then we're going to go ahead and plug in the storage. Now I did pick this one up here in Walmart. I think it was like about $15 and it's 280 gigs, I believe. So I'm going to plug this one in as well. It's just like, so let's make sure it is is recognized here by the Mac there it is the portable SSD and as I mentioned this one is about 480 so there it is. yeah 480 but we have 460 available so I already have some backups here let's go ahead and start the process so once the SSD is recognized your iPhone is connected to the AnyTrans software just go ahead and select the backup manager here right here and then go to backup now and click backup now right here you have several options but the option that we're going to look at here is backup path this means we're going to change the path where the the data instead of being saved to the computer it'll be saved to the SSD so we're going to go ahead and select portable SSD which is the one listed right here as you can see right there it is and click open and now we're all set and ready to go just as simple as that the iPhone is connected launch any trans backup manager backup now change the path and click backup that's it now it's going to start backing up all my data from the iPhone over directly to this SSD and once it is saved I can start deleting things like uh, photos and videos they will all be saved to this SSD here so I no longer have to either purchase iCloud storage or a bigger storage device. Now, depending on how much data you have on your iPhone, this can take anywhere from 10 minutes to even up to an hour. So if you have multiple gigs of data, it could take some time to let AnyTrans do its thing. And just like that, AnyTrans has completely backed up all the data from this iPhone over to this SSD. I can view the data as you can see right here just by simply clicking on here. Of course, this is a dummy unit that I'm using here in order to demonstrate this for you guys. But if I go to my SSD here, you see that all the backups have been completed. So there it is. And if we go here to the second backup, here is the second backup. All the information has been saved to this SSD. And at a later time, I can go ahead and restore this data over to another iPhone using the same method, but using the restore method. Okay, so very simple. Here it is, the media, podcast information, all my data and all the information that was on my iPhone has been backed up. And I can take this portable SSD with me and use any computer to actually transfer all this data over to another device fairly simple and now I can save up storage for my iPhone because I can now start deleting things and continue using my device and there you guys have it again check out any trans of course the links will be in the description thank you for watching this video hope it helps and I'll see you guys on the next one peace